Hi, my name is Rini Kamau. I'm a data journalist based uh, here in Kenya. And we are uh, privileged to have in our space uh, in the youth uh, media data. Uh, we are privileged to have Mr. Martin Barr, <laughs> who is the director of CAPI, uh, one of the directors of CAPI. I'm, I'm the director. director of data and services within our digital development thing. Yes. Yeah. So I'm not here because I'm supposed to be youth. I'm nearly 50. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but you have wealth and the wisdom of information. Oh, for I'm us. flattering. Yes. <laughs> uh, so you'll be talking about the domain data ecosystem and the flows. I'll be talking about um, in a, a session later on today, uh, 4.15 um, at the event, one of the kind of parallel sessions, um, complex problems around um, data ecosystems where they go beyond kind of simple, um, simple type data ecosystems. So a simple data ecosystem might be in a particular domain. So it might be around um, sharing soil data, for example, with people, agronomists and researchers. Uh, but increasingly, we've been looking at more complex data ecosystems. So, recognizing that people want information, for example, about soils um, in the livestock domain or in health domains, and recognizing that kind of sharing data is a broader cross disciplinary challenge. That, okay, the data that uh, is not unique uh, for only the farmers. It can be used for other disciplines. Yeah, and sure. Those. So, kind of within the CGIR, the, the, there's been a lot of emphasis on creating very useful interventions, um, for example, to improve soil fertility, uh, but increasingly recognizing that data about soils uh, underpins developments which, which bleed into other disciplines. So, soils, um, uh, you know, improved soils means improved crops, but it also means improved um, forage for livestock and recognizing um, that kind of lots of different people might want access to to kind of those soil assets so we tend to work in silos at the moment yes. so we tend to share data with people that we know mm -hmm. with organizations that we know uh, even where projects are funded they tend to have a particular narrow focus but actually to kind of make services and and you know, improve people's livelihood through improved access to increasingly nutritious food. You've got to share data through a much broader ecosystem and a much broader range of actors. Wow, that's amazing because, uh, uh, like you said, that we are all uh, many organizations are working in silos, but once we're able to share the data, then there's the stop replication of. Uh, how we get the data, how we even share it with other people. So it really helps. But uh, my, my, okay, what would you be, what would be your take home, especially for, uh, coming from this conference when you're going back to Kabi? What, what do you plan to do? What do I plan to do? Well, obviously, um, you know, the CGI are, are vital partners and they're not just kind of one organization, they're 16 institutes and they all have different um, things to bring to bear. And I think the great thing about this big data platform initiative is that it's encouraged collaboration between these different disciplines. And it's about data managers and researchers and scientists sharing the expertise across the different disciplines. Um, and, and, and that's kind of necessary because the new applications and services needs to bear in mind that the data needs to flow a lot further than it does at the moment. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you for your it's two minutes.